while we are looking at the structures of alcohols, you might have noticed that there were two ways to make 2-propanol. Um, we call these optical isomers or enantiomers. They are an example of a geometric isomer, just like you have with alkenes, where the molecular formula and even the abridged or shortened structural formula is the same. But actually, if we make three-dimensional models, they do look different. So a bit like cis and trans, but we don't worry about naming these either in level two or level three. Just for your information, this work is extension for level two, but it is something that a level three student would be expected to know. I'm really just doing this video because you might have noticed that you made a 2-propanol that was different to somebody else's and wondering who was right and who was wrong. Well, you were both right um, if that was the case. So, what do what are these? Well, they are molecules that are made when a particular carbon has got four different groups or four different atoms bound to it. So one, two, three, and four. It's not saying that you've got four different types of bonds because here's a carbon-carbon bond and here's a carbon-carbon bond. But it's saying that the CH3 is different to the CH2, CH3 over here. With these four different groups, there are four different ways in 3D or in space for these to be arranged. This is because these bonds are not just up and down and left and right. They are at 109.5 degrees around a tetrahedron. So I'm going to endeavour to show you what I mean using a ball and stick model. So here I have got the molecule that I just had shown before, where I've got my CH3, CH2, CHO, and then H, and then finally CH3 down here. Now, in three dimensions, if I was to move any one, swap, sorry, swap any two of those groups, then actually it becomes a non-superimposable um, isomer, so what we call an optical isomer. So if I was to move the OH group and swap it with the hydrogen, whoops, which I'm trying to do for you here now, then it still is CH3, CH2, CH, OH, CH3. It's still the same molecular formula, but it actually looks a bit different. And oh, okay, well, before I just had the hydrogen over here and the OH over here, so if I just turn it around, so it's the same as that, then it should be the same, but it's not. Now the CH3 and the C28, CH2, CH3 have swapped places. So no matter what I do to this, unless I break bonds and remake them, I can't make that same molecule I had before, no matter how I look at it. It always looks a bit different. These are called optical isomers. They have some really um, important uses in nature. Nature tends to only use, uh, choose one particular one. Um, this is true for things like sugars, amino acids, which are used to make proteins and so on. So they're quite an important thing when it comes to biochemistry, which is of course one of the big branches of organic chemistry.